Today I am here to explain you how to find young modulus of a given wire using Searle's apparatus. Okay, this is in front of you is the Searle's apparatus. As you can see there are two metal uh, pieces attached together. They can move vertically relative to each other. There are two wires here of the same material with the wires here are suspended through a rigid support at the ceiling. The wires we are using here are made of steel. Now we have a spirit level here just to record any relative movement in between the two wires. The spirit level is resting on one side it is resting on a micrometer screw which will help us to record any elongation after we suspend any load to the wire. As you can see there are two hooks provided to each wire and these hooks are provided to load and unload any weights and check the extension of the wire. Now this wire here is called reference wire and the other one which is attached to the micrometer screw is called the experimental wire. To the reference wire before we start we always attach a standard weight to the reference wire just to remove all kinks in the wire. For the experimental wire to remove kinks I am going to suspend uh, this hanger just to check the wires are taut and there is no kink at all. Before we start we need to check if the two wires are at the same horizontal level. This can be done by checking the spirit level if the bubble is in between the two markings on the spirit level. To start with the observations these are the four apparatus we require. We require a meter scale to measure the length of the experimental wire that is the initial length. Also I require a screw gauge because I need to measure the diameter of experimental wire for further calculations of Young's modulus. These are the slotted weights provided for the loading and unloading of experimental wire. Now to start with first thing we need to measure the free length of experimental wire. So we will do that from here. This is how we are going to measure the initial length of experimental wire before loading. Before loading itself we need to check the diameter of the experimental wire and for, the, for getting the basic or the general value we need to take observations from at least five different places to avoid in case there is any thinning of wire has taken place. This is a normal screw gauge before you start always check zero error and the least count of the instrument you are working with. So we need to check we need to check the diameter from at least five different places so that we can take an average and we can minimize error in our observation. Now after doing this I will start loading my experimental wire. So the thing is whenever you load experimental wire there is some extension taking place and due to that extension the horizontal level of the spirit level will be displaced. Now since it is made of steel the elongation may not be very large. So just for the level of convenience what we can practice here is instead of keeping the bubble in the middle we always try to keep bubble touching on one side of the marking either side is okay and every time there is a displacement in the level we always move micrometer screw and bring the bubble to the same marking we start with. Now if this is how I load and before I start I can check taking measurements I can check this is a micrometer screw there is a vertical scale provided here 
there are markings as you can see and there is a screw provided here which is calibrated into 100 divisions before you start your observation part you have to take the least count of this micrometer screw as well and we, we use the same method we use for screw gauge first we need to find the pitch and pitch is to be divided by the number of divisions on the circular scale so if I move my micrometers I initially keep my micrometer screw at any point and give it say I am keeping it here say at 30 30th division of my, my uh, circular scale is coinciding with the vertical scale and I want to give it a one complete rotation and then I will be checking I will be checking any vertical observations on the vertical scale here in this case it is 1 mm 1 mm on main scale is to be divided by 100 divisions on the circular scale so the least count comes out to be 1 mm upon 100 that is 0 0.01 mm or 0 0.001 centimeter to start with the loading now I have slotted a, a half a kg load half a kg weight here now I need to check my first observation initial observation first I will check the main scale reading main scale reading is to be checked where the top edge of the screw is coinciding with any of the markings on the main scale or the vertical scale that would be my main scale reading and for the circular scale division I need to check on this circular scale whatever division is coinciding with this edge of my main scale and this only can be checked once we bring the my, uh, spirit level to the same marking we start with so this is my reading and similarly I I keep slotting my weight every time I put a weight here I will check my level of uh, spirit level I will adjust the screw just to get the same level again now there is no vertical movement in between it is adjusted by the micrometer screw and then I will take my observation using main scale and circular scale here I keep on slotting and then final observation there is it's always to be verified you doing unloading as well so the, after slotting all my weights here then I will take my observation in the backward like I'll start unloading the wire and check my observations again if there is any error while going back to the same value this is how we take observations using a Searle's apparatus and we, we check final value of Young's modulus can be calculated after substituting the values in the formula 